How's this for a champion's welcome? The world's gaze, if only for a day, turned to the fast-paced final of a famously slow game. It's very exciting. You can cut the tension with the knife. <laughs> On one side of the board, Magnus Carlsen, the Norwegian grandmaster and reigning champion, a player so famous he appeared on The Simpsons. He merely needs to take Grandpa's knight. His opponent, Fabiano Caruana, America's best shot at the world title in four decades. His parents say he started winning at age 17, and he just hasn't stopped. Maybe Fabiano's is uh, destiny is to inspire chess in America. Today, though, would be his biggest test yet a tiebreaker round after three weeks of play and only draws. There's never been a stalemate quite like this. It's the first time the world's top two players go 12 games in the final without either player winning a single game. That's why this moment is so intense. And covered just as keenly as any world championship. The players so evenly matched because of technology and their practice against a computer. Both have access to the same super strong computers to prepare their games and to play their openings. The players' every facial expression and every move scrutinized by a global audience watching online. I very much can, uh, can feel their pain and excitement and, and, and being in such a tension. In the end today, Carlson successfully defended his crown, winning the first three quick-fire tiebreakers. I felt like I had a really good day at work today, and... Uh... <laughs> That's a thrilling day in the game of chess. Briefly, the world's most exciting sport. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London. It really is exciting. I, I think so, anyway. Now, uh, just to give you a taste of how unpredictable chess can sometimes be, consider how the tournament started. So the same way you've got a ceremonial first pitch in baseball, this championship had its own celebrity appearance. It was just a bit awkward. So actor Woody Harrelson, of all people, he botched the ceremonial opening move twice, first knocking over Caruana's king, which is usually what you do when you want to forfeit the game. Then he played the wrong pawn. So it turns out he's an actor and a comedian.